Andrew. Well, Trisha, for today, grab the rain gear as we track scattered raindrops that are going to be likely across many parts of the area at some point for today. Let's give you the first alert to this with first alert weather radar locally, where we continue to track some isolated downpours right now from US 30 up towards the state line at this moment, just after 515 AM Eastern time here. And we're looking at a few scattered downpours from Plymouth, Lakeville, even up into South Bend right now. And these are going to continue to lift their way towards the north and east. Nothing severe, just to get a few nuisance down downpours and enough downpours and enough wet weather this morning where some of you again may feel a little groggy this morning, maybe wanting to stay in bed or hit that snooze button this morning on the alarm clock and we scatter a few showers up across southwestern Michigan as well from Dewajet Cass up towards Bering Springs, Stevensville, St. Joe and we'll continue to see additional rain chances increasing for southwestern Michigan as we go throughout the next one and two hours. Comfort index for today lowering it down to a four out of ten. Grab the rain gear. We're talking the umbrella as well as the rain jacket for today as we have on and off rain and even a few claps of thunder lightning that could be possible as we head on into the afternoon hours. If you look at our weather by the mile here, expect wet roads all day long and notice that little lightning bolt icon showing up for the afternoon. Maybe one or two of us hearing a few claps of thunder throughout the second half of the day. Hour by hour with my latest thoughts with first alert weather for you to track. We keep the scattered downpours now through about 8 a.m. And I think after 8 a.m. we get a break for many of us for a few hours or maybe just a light showers happening in your community or staying dry through about the noon hour. And then as we transition into the afternoon, here we are paused at 3 p.m. High temperatures for today stay shy of 70 degrees. Plan for temperatures for today into the upper 60s. It's also going to feel a little extra humid out there as well with all the moisture around where we see some of these yellows. That's an indication of some lightning and some thunder. And then as we start to move into this evening after 6, 7 p.m., that's where we're going to step back our rain chances and starting to see most of our showers ending. But I think overnight and into daybreak Wednesday morning. Some patchy fog develops and we'll have to watch out for a few pockets of some of that mist and drizzle first thing tomorrow. So does how much rain are we looking at in first alert weather for today? Well, a nice drink of water. I think most areas round out at about a half an inch of rainfall with a few of us getting really lucky and getting close to near that one inch mark. Now we do have additional rain chances that we are going to watch here in first alert weather as we move right on into the upcoming weekend. But for that rain chance, we have to turn to the tropics and we're going to talk about the tropics coming up in first alert weather. Yeah, that was a concern for sure. Now the storms this afternoon, you don't think it's anything too rocky? No, just a few claps of thunder that okay. can maybe disturb some of the pets a little bit, but nothing <laughs> yeah. severe expected. All right, good today. nap weather. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. good to know. That's what I plan to do after work. <laughs> I know, me too. All right, thank you, Andrew. It's 520. President Joe Biden honored, is honored with the 2024 Clinton Global Citizen Award. Former President Bill Clinton presenting uh, Biden.